It's up to you. you can okay. Come. All right. Well, Dr. Art Mullen is in the house because, you know, migraines, they are something that a lot of people deal with. The heat sure. can make them even worse. So, uh, Doc, you're here to help us out, get some solutions for us. But first of all, what is a migraine? How well, is that I, different from a headache? It, it actually, it's different than a headache from the standpoint that it's recurring and it's occurring over uh, multiple times. It can occur over months. You may not have one for three or four months, but then you'll get another one after a certain period of time. So with migraines, and, and again, they're three times more common in women, huh. so I think that's something. Okay. If you have one parent who may have had migraines, you have a 50% chance of developing Hereditary. a migraine. Mm -hmm. If you have two parents, you have a 75% chance of developing a migraine. And usually these migraines will have an aura before they actually come on. So that aura uh -huh. can be flashing lights, it can be nausea, it can be vomiting, a funny taste in your mouth, or mm -hmm. you know, just even funny smells. But it's just an uncomfortable feeling and that aura can actually last for you know, maybe 15 minutes to an hour before the actual migraine occurs. So these are some of the common food triggers huh. because food can actually trigger it. And that includes cheese, uh, monosodium glutamate or MSG, chocolate, soy sauce, and artificial sweeteners. So all of these are food triggers, but there are other triggers and that can include like barometric pressure. When oh. that goes up, you're gonna have a greater propensity to develop a migraine. So weather changes, the bright lights, stress, fatigue, lack oh. of sleep, uh, certain types of perfumes. Yeah. If you have a certain smell, it, that just trigger that migraine in, in two seconds. So people have to be careful of, of some of those types of other triggers that may be the cause of it. So you mentioned we have some of the telltale signs of one coming. So what yes. can we do to start to treat it maybe so, early? So for women, menstruation often is one of the reasons they develop uh, a migraine headache. And so they may get it a couple days before. So one of the treatments, if you take anti-inflammatories like naproxen or you take ibuprofen over the counter, that can actually help to prevent that migraine. If you take it a day or two before, so mm -hmm. beta blockers, beta blockers are something that lower your heart rate, they lower your blood pressure, something like Indoral or Topral, these are all medications that people take actually for their heart or for blood pressure, but they help migraines. The other are anti-seizure medications, one called Topamax, that usually can help a migraine or Depakote. Mm -hmm. And these are anti-seizure medications, but they actually actually help to prevent those migraines from occurring. Antidepressants, Cymbalta is, is one particular one that's often used to prevent it or amitriptyline. And blood pressure medications like calcium channel blockers, we often hear about that, and that can help to prevent it. And the last one is dietary supplements. You know, and people mm. often, you know, they, they go, well, dietary supplements, that's yeah. not gonna really help the migraine. But butter burr, that's butter burr, okay. 150 milligrams taken daily has shown in the scientific research wow. to prevent migraines by about 50%. So if you're looking for trying something different, mm -hmm. you might go to the health food store and buy some butter burr. Butter burr, okay. Yeah. But, but the one final point, and I, I can't underscore this enough, that if someone has migraines mm -hmm. and say all of a sudden they get a severe headache, it's on one side yeah. of their body and everything and one side of their eye and on their head, they ought to see a neurologist, get it evaluated, get an MRI. You can't necessarily self-diagnose when it comes to migraines, especially if you've not had them before. Dr. Art, thank okay. you so much. It can welcome. be so painful, so yes. great advice there.